this is a very specific message. I feel like I had to get it out. But some of y'all, y'all got shoes that can't nobody else wear. Because if they were to try to step in your shoes or live the life that you have lived, they would blow up. Or they want to take themselves out. Y'all choose peace every fucking time because you know how to start a war. And you know what you're capable of. And you know that you can be ruthless. You know you can be evil. You know you can reflect back onto people what they reflect onto you. You know that. But you choose directly to not be that way. People don't understand the turmoil, the heaviness, the isolation, the, uh, the mockery that was made of you. They don't know that. Nor would those same people who continue to mock you today be able to handle it. Any of the energy that you received in your life, if it was to be thrown on that person, they wouldn't be able to handle it. You have a story to tell. You have a story to tell that can help a few people out. Because your life is so unique. Uh, but you're not alone. And there are other people who have lived a similar life as you. Maybe not as bad or maybe not to the to the depth of the life that you lived. I don't, I don't know. There's certain things that maybe have uh, overpowered your life more than others. Like, for example, maybe you didn't have to worry about money, but you had to worry about others. Or maybe you did have to worry about money, but you didn't have to worry about loyalty. Like, you are the type of person where if, you, if this is on your For You page, you've experienced a multitude of things. A multitude. And guess what? You still... Have a pure heart. I don't think you're understanding what's going on right now. You still have a pure heart. After all the evil you have seen. After all the evil that has went on in your fucking life. You choose peace still. Wow. You know how many evil people there are right now? Because they didn't know how to choose peace. Do you know? I don't think you understand. How many fucking evil people that there are right now in this world? People who are greedy, selfish, people who are killers, people who take people's innocence, whatever, apply and let that shit fly where it needs to. But there are some evil motherfuckers and you choose thoroughly, accurately every day to not be that way. Maybe some of y'all, I feel like as well, some of y'all got gifts. You have ancestral gifts. Your ancestors have given you the gift of knowledge. If, if this is on your For You page, you have the gift of discernment and knowledge. I'm not talking about stuff that you can crack open a book and you can read or you can travel to a, um, a faraway place and learn that knowledge. No, this is given to you. You were given this knowledge. You were given this discernment because, because, because you were sacrificed from a very young age. It's like you only had a childhood for 0.25 and the rest of that time was hell for you because your family didn't even understand you. Your family didn't even want to get to understand you. But you know what? You The fact that you choose to understand others, the fact that you choose to love, the fact that you choose to, to change yourself and need be so you can be a happier person, you don't understand the blessings that's about to walk into your life. You don't understand at all. By you having that attitude alone, that attitude alone is going to get you in through doors that have been closed on you and other people. Because again, you choose peace. Choosing peace is not easy to do when you've been raised in an environment full of evil. When you've been around nothing but chaos, confusion, lies. But you choose the opposite route. This is actually... um. A lot of religious figures, like, for example, Buddha, came from a very um, crazy and chaotic back. And in fact, Buddha came from a situation where he had money. He had whatever he needed, but he was not happy. And the circumstances pushed him to trust himself, to go f deeper within himself. I'm not saying that you are Buddha, but I'm just saying you have a Buddha-like spirit. Where it's like you will go within, you will sit underneath a tree, you will sit by yourself, you will be alone and reflect before you ever release chaos into anybody else who's innocent. Because you know and you have this ancient wisdom, what goes around comes around. And for some people, they're going to be like, that's not ancient wisdom. Oh, it is. Because you actually walk the talk. 
because you understand, okay, I'm not going to treat them this way because I'm frustrated right here, right now. Because I understand it's going to hit me harder later on because I didn't have to do that at all. All I had to do was just set time apart and calm down. This is also called Christ consciousness. You don't have to be Christian to, to, to know that there is a path of righteousness that you walk on. And if you choose not to walk on the path of righteousness, you don't have to. But there's consequences for everything you fucking do. So when you take time out of your day to be at peace, to be a peaceful individual, to not seek out hate, to not expel hate onto the people around you, into your environment, you're going to be blessed many times over Many times over, whatever you're going to need in this lifetime is going to be handed to you because you understand. You understand how energy goes. You understand how energy moves. Because you know and you went through a lot of evil in your life. And people don't even know your full story. That's the crazy part. The crazy part is, too, just the snippets that you were to tell people, I'm, I'm sure they wouldn't be able to handle because you come across a lot of people, they aren't weak, but they just don't know about the true power of um, faith. And faith doesn't have to mean a particular religion, but faith in yourself to choose and do the right thing. So I hope this video finds y'all well.